Hi student, welcome to your Android user interface session number 9. So in the last session we studied about the relative layout, uh, some of the properties of relative layout. Then we studied about how to set the dependencies, uh, the view to view dependency or the child to parent, uh, child to child dependency and from child to parent dependency. So now uh, continuing with the relative layout, we will try to design a screen today using relative layout. The screen design will be something like this as you can see on your screen. So we'll use an image on top and then some views at the bottom which is a, basically a form and a submit button. So this screen we will be designing today using relative layout. So uh, to create this let's go to our Android studio. So let's create a new layout, a new relative layout. Let's name it as uh, exercise Sorry, A needs to be small. Exercise underscore nine score one, and this is a relative layout. So, create a new XML file, and this is the design portion of it, and this is the coding portion, which is the text portion of it, where you'll write your code. So first of all we'll compare it with our screen here. So as we can see there is a blue color in the background. So we'll add a blue color to our uh, to our relative layout. So to add a color here we can use the color property sorry the background property and add color to it and pick a color from our existing colors that we have or you can define a new color in the colors file so let's if we let's see if we so suppose this is your color and this is your color file you can just click on this and change your color and set it accordingly so let's set it suppose here and choose it so this will ch get changed here so the color gets changed for the background so after doing this uh, let's compare it with our exercise screen so, so the topmost view is the image view so we need to add an image view in our relative layout so to add a image view we can just use the image view and the width should be match parent and height can be defined here because we uh, do not know how much uh, how uh, how much height the image will take and uh, so we need to define the height of the image here to keep it static so let's define the height as 200 uh, dp so if you hover over this you'll see that this is your view that gets created image view but currently it does not contain any image but we can see the difference between uh, the two screens here the two views here so this is the background is the dark blue color is your background and when you hover over it the light blue color is your image view so now if we add an image to this uh, folder uh, sorry this view it's always added through a resource so the resource and we need to see the image is in drawable folder or mipmap folder in this case our image uh, needs to be in the drawable folder so here we select drawable and we select our image accordingly so these are the two images here so I'll just tell you how to bring an image uh, if you don't have an image how to copy an image into a drawable folder so let's say you don't have an image you just uh, you have an image on your desktop let's suppose this 
So just copy this image here. Just copy this image here and you can just come to the drawable folder and right click on it and you can just paste it here. So once you paste it, it will just ask you uh, regarding if you want to change a name. Uh, let's set a new name because we have already uh, an image of the same name so it will replace it. So let's uh, use as test underscore one and click OK. So this image gets added to the drawable folder. So that is how you can add an image to the drawable folder. So if you notice here that the image, the height has been defined but the width is not exactly how we want uh, to be the width is actually here from end to end but now in our in our uh, view here the image there is slight spacing from the sides the reason is that we need to use a scale property uh, to actually make the image fit the prop uh, the whole view so uh, we have already used this property earlier also this is the property that I'm talking about the scale type property so it has got many uh, alignments here but we need to set uh, center crop so that will uh, that will focus the image uh, in the center area of the image and crop the rest of the sides of the image so now our image is completely set according to our exercise screen here from end to end and the height is approximately the same but there is a text missing on top of the image so to add the text we need to use the text uh, the text view so as we know that we can add the text view using text text view here so the width can be as match parent height can be currently the height can be given as uh, standard as 40 dp and here to actually enter the text we need to use the text property and uh, we need to define the text here as please fill in the uh, policy detail policy detail details so this is how you can write your text here but if you zoom in only then you will be able to see the text because it is currently of black color so before changing the color uh, here if you remember we did we did it uh, in our one of our last exercises that whenever we write a text we need to uh, add it to the string resource because the reason is that it is always better to add a text from the string resource because then we can use the string resource to actually reuse the same text again and again throughout our application. So let's add it to our string resource and just click OK. So now the text will be taken from the string resource. So now to change the color of the text, uh, we can use the text color property and uh, we can choose color and the color can be the color should be something that is visible on this particular image so let's use the accent color so depending on the image that you have used you can use you can change the color or if you don't have the color you can define the color in the colors XML file here also let's uh, increase the text size here so that uh, it is more legible so let's keep it as around 20 SP always remember that the text size is given in SP units not in DP units we have studied this in our earlier sessions but just you need to remember that whenever you need to provide units for text size you need to provide them in SP so if I zoom out now so now the text seems to be proper of proper size and it is of proper color so that it is now visible 
so now we need to align this text in the center bottom of the image view not the uh, parent view but the image view so for doing that let's use the property of relative layout so let's use the id property and define define our id here and id plus id and let's suppose this is pick this is how we are going to refer to this image view in our text view when we align it so now for the alignment we can use um, align so earlier we used the parent bottom because that was the uh, parent to child dependency but now we are going to use the alignment bottom property because uh, this is the child to child dependency so this and here it is showing me all the options so we need to to select this because we are referring this image view here so now to align it in the center we need to use the center horizontal property here and keep the value as true so this will uh, bring the text to the center so now uh, let's give some margin from the bottom as well so that we have proper spacing from the bottom so let's use our margin property here margin bottom and uh, let's define the margin as 5 dp sorry 5 dp so now approximately our text is aligned the way it is showing in our exercise so if you see here we have an image from uh, end to end and we have an we have the text on top of it and the spacing from the left and the right side is there and from the bottom also it's there so it's similar to what we had to do in our exercise screen so now coming on to the next uh, next view that we need to add the next view uh, is the policy number and the amount uh, field so these are basically your edit text views because this will be an entry uh, field so we need to add two edit text views but here uh, till now what you have learned in linear layout you might be thinking that we can use um, we can use gravity uh, to align these two views uh, in front of one another and pro provide a proper spacing and everything but um, the gravity adding gravity is true correct to a certain extent but using a, a linear layout inside a relative layout and then using uh, views inside them that will create a hierarchy so if you remember in the last uh, session we actually um, we actually told that the reason the advantage of using relative layout is that it eliminates this hierarchy so that is why uh, relative layout is a flat hierarchical structure it does not have a hierarchy hierarchy as such so but the linear layout it always has a hierarchy so in a cumbersome code uh, when the code is really complicated then uh, usage of hierarchy will can cause issues uh, in in the screen design and it can cause complications so that is why we try to use a relative layout when the screen design or the the elements used are complicated and because it also forms a flat hierarchy structure so to add our view here we can use edit text edit text and width as wrap and height as wrap content and we can change this later on as well so but currently we just we can keep it as wrap content and uh, we can use the hint property to show what needs to be typed inside 
so the hint is policy number that is your hint so if you see here if I zoom in here you will get your edit text window and to show it properly let's set a background color uh, as yellow so we can see it clearly now so we can use uh, we need another view here the another text edit text view here so we can just copy this and uh, paste it here so that we have two views and change the hint to amount so the amount view gets uh, stacked on top of the uh, policy number uh, field the reason being that is the property or characteristic of a relative layout that the views get stacked on top of each other so but we need to take these two uh, views at the bottom uh, of the image view here according to our exercise screen so and also we need to provide some sort of margin or padding uh, from this side as well but for all these uh, just for the edit text views and the button not the image view so if we suppose provide a padding in the relative layout view that will give a padding to the whole view and that will also cause the image view to be uh, have to have space from the edges but we don't want that so let's add space in another way and let's define a space element for the spacing between these two uh, views so let's define a space element first um, So to define a space element we can use space so with width as 8 dp and height as 40 dp so uh, what's best is that um, we make sure that our space if you if you zoom in here this is our space element that we have introduced here but if you see it is the height is more than the actual uh, field or uh, view height here so what we can do is define the height of each views of edit text views as 40 dp so that the height becomes equal to the space element height and this and all are uh, all three are at equal distance and or uh, or at equal height so to in order for these two views to um, identify the space view we need to uh, declare the space view or use an identification for the space view like um, id and we can define a new uh, id for space like uh, let's say center space but we need this space uh, exactly below our image so we can use uh, we can use the layout property here like layout and layout pick so the space goes here and it needs to be at the center as well so in order to uh, align it in the center we can use the uh, center horizontal uh, property and change the values true so this view comes at the space view comes at the center now so the element is here at the center so we have defined the space element here and we have used the uh, we have used the uh, pick uh, ID pick in order to define the alignment of this space element so now having defined the space element and keeping the space element according to where it should be now we need to define the um, 
the positioning of these two edit text views so one edit text view is the policy number and one is the amount so these are one is to the left and one is to the right of this space element so we need to define the positioning according to to the left of so this is the policy number so we need to keep the policy number to the left of our center space element and we need to keep the um, amount field to the right of the center space element so uh, this is how we can align or position them accordingly onto the screen so now if you see our exercise screen the alignment or positioning is still not perfectly okay they are currently at the top we need to bring them at the bottom with a space on top of them so a space needs to be there between uh, this image view and these three elements or views here space element and these two views so in order to do that let's define another space element in our android studio here and let's define this space element as uh, space and the width needs to be a uh, match parent because it needs to go all across from one end to the other end of the screen uh, horizontally and the height can be defined as around 8 to 10 dp whatever accordingly the spacing is so let's define it as 10 dp and the positioning is also important because the positioning of the space needs to be um, below the sorry below the image here which is pick so as soon as we do this we get a spacing element we get this spacing element here below the image view so now um, having said that having adjusted that if you observe that this space that we uh, created earlier it was also under below pick but now we have a space element under a below pick so we need to keep this the first space that we created under the second space element otherwise the first space element will always keep on touching the uh, the image view here so we can we don't need to reference this pick here what we need to reference here is um, but we need to first define our space element here because we haven't defined our space element so that is why the name is not there so let's define our space element as uh, id mm, uh, bottom bottom space id bottom space if there is already a bottom space it will show me a suggestion otherwise we can just use it like this so this is the id we have defined for the bottom space here and this is the bottom space and now we need to uh, reference the first space with the second space so here we can define the id here as bottom space so now our image uh, sorry the space the first space is now below the second space so now we need to align the or position these two 
edit text views here by using uh, below layout below bottom space and for this also below uh, layout below bottom space so this is something that uh, something similar to what we wanted to achieve from our exercise screen here but still it is not perfect still we need to increase the width of the view of the edit text view but also keeping in mind the margins it should not be touching the edges if there should be a margin from the sides so here we can use our old um, um, old method of using margins to the left of margins to the right of um, parameters or properties that we learned during the linear layout but that will become too cumbersome because for each view we will have to define to the left of margin and to the right of margin so it's better in uh, using the lead, uh, relative layout that we define the space for each side and reference that space uh, or uh, put a dependency of that space for each of the views so let's define our space for the uh, for the left side in the vertical vertically sorry so space um, now the width uh, remember we are aligning this uh, vertically so the width needs to be kept as 8 dp and the height can be kept as match parent then we need to define its position that it needs to be below our pick here so you can see this blue line here so as we are defining this view so we can just keep an id for this view which will be better because we will be referencing this and to create a new id let's say we keep it as left left space it is already there in my android studio but because uh, we might have defined it uh, during the course of development or during course of development of some applications so you can define it at your own end as well so don't think that if you're uh, if when you're typing you are not seeing left space then there is an issue with your android studio it's it's not an issue it's just that we have defined it earlier you need to define it during the time of the exercise then we need to create a similar space for the right side as well so space right space so that will be created and we can align this towards the uh, towards the right side so align parent right because we need to align it towards the parents uh, views right side and value as true so here as soon as you do this you'll you'll be able to see this highlighted blue portion here so now we need to increase the width of these two uh, fields or views so these are our edit text uh, view so layout width can be create uh, kept as match parent and the amount field can also be cap kept as match parent so but if you notice that they are still touching the edges so they they need to be provided with some padding so let's provide them with padding padding for the uh, for the policy number it will be the left padding which can be let's say adp and also for 
something similar for the the other text view as well so this is for the padding for the um, text written inside that is the hint written inside so now we need to provide the uh, margin from the outside area because the yellow portion is touching the edges of the screen so we need to define uh, for the text views the positioning so for the uh, policy number as it is on the left side so it will be to the left of sorry so to the right of and we need to use the left space and similarly for the for the amount field we need to use the to the left of and the right space here so now as soon as we provide the to the uh, layout uh, the layout properties to the left of and the right of uh, left space and right space respectively we see that the margin takes into effect because the, we have defined the margin that is why this is this space is now showing so there is no hard and fast rule to provide a space here but uh, uh, as i have provided the space for the top part the left part right part and we'll be adding the space to the bottom part as well you can use you cannot uh, you uh, you can use just margins instead of using spaces defining spaces here if you are if you don't if you are not comfortable with the space element or uh, you feel that you you have a good grasp of uh, the margin property then you can use your margin property for each uh, uh, each view so but you need to be sure that you apply the margin property correctly to each view and to the correct side of the each view only then it will be uh, it will show up correctly so let's go on to our next view here which is the policy provider so let's uh, define our edit text width as match parent height we can define as 40 dp and uh, let's keep a background here uh, background color uh, color as yellow so also we can add the hint property so the hint can be policy provider policy provider and uh, and uh, to provide some spacing from the edges uh, from the left edge let's give padding left uh, 8 dp so there is a space between the edge and the text and we need to position it below the space uh, center uh, which is this space so to align it here we can just uh, refer the space as uh, id oh sorry below layout below uh, center space so now it is below the space uh, center and to provide the padding from left and right side we can just use to the left of right space and similarly to the right of left space and to provide a space in between these 
these two views here policy number and policy provider let's add some margin margin top and let's say around 10 tp so now we have some space between the views so after this uh, view we have the description here so this description will also be an edit text but we need to uh, we need to just assume that all the space that is left on the screen will be covered by the description view description edit view so we need to put in the edit view in a way where it covers all the screen uh, all the remaining empty screen that is there so in order to do that we have to first put in the button so that the remaining space is between the button and the policy provider uh, field view so for that we need to go back to our android studio we can use the button width can be match parent height can be static height and uh, the text inside the button can be uh, submit button so here we have created the submit button and also we can supply it with a color background color let's say background um, color yellow and we need to align it right now it is at the top here of the view but we need to align it at the bottom of the view so let's see what we can use to align align parent bottom because we are aligning at the parent bottom not the child bottom so and this can be kept as true so now it moves to the bottom of the screen so now we need to provide the button with spacing from the edges so for the bottom space or um, uh, the bottom uh, padding uh, sorry margin we can use the margin bottom margin bottom let's say around 10 dp uh, 10 dp and for the spaces on the left side right side we can just use to uh, right of uh, left space and to so now we are left with the description box now the description uh, view as we said earlier that we will create it in a way that it uh, automatically takes up the empty space that is remaining on the screen so here we go back to our android studio and create a view edit text edit text so width also as match parent and height also as match parent so in this case we need to keep the uh, width as match parent and height. and to see this view properly let's set a background color uh, color yellow so this is the color of our edit text box for description so now here we need we can also add the hint also so hint uh, can be description and uh, let's add padding to the description as well like padding uh, 8 dp and uh, now we need to use some property which will uh, which will automatically uh, define how much height from the top and from the bottom this box needs to be uh, this box needs to take in order to fit into this area so let's go here for that what we need to do is we need to uh, declare the ID for that button let's say ID 
बटन बटन सो दिस इज द आईडी बटन दैट वी हैव डिक्लेयर्ड हियर फॉर दिस बटन and we can use this dependency in our edit text description uh, view so above above button id button so similarly we can define a uh, an id for the policy provider uh, field let's define the id here for policy provider like uh, provider id and use the same id here as below uh, id provider and then lastly not lastly but for the edges uh side edges left and right uh side edges we can define to the left of the right space and similarly to the uh right of left space and for the top and bottom edges that are touching the submit button and the policy provider button we can provide margin uh bottom uh, around 10 dp and sorry and margin top 10 dp so we have spaces uh, proper spacing from the all four sides of this view but the description uh, text starts is showing in the middle Uh, of the view so we need to have it on top It needs to start from top for that we can use the gravity so for gravity we can use uh gravity start so that will bring the text to the starting point so this is something similar to what we wanted to design in our exercise screen so just to revise uh what all we have done here initially we have added the image view here initially we added the image view and we kept the image view from end to end that is the match parent width and match parent height uh sorry uh, the height was 200 dp we uh, put in the height as static and on top of it we put in the uh, text uh here the text view here and then we started out creating the form for the form we used um, uh, spacing elements for the uh, left top uh, right and the bottom space and the center space so that is uh, uh, these are the spacing elements that we used then having used the space or define the space elements then how are we positioning the other uh, views uh, here like we have used we have defined the space element here here and then we are using it how to use it we are defining this view edit text view uh, to align it uh, to the left of to the right of uh, different space elements so that we have proper spacing from the sides also you can use margin um, margins also um, as property but it is up to you if, if you think that this is better this uh, defining a space and using space uh, calling a space uh, in your uh, views then that is okay if you think that you are comfortable with margin then you can use margin no hard and fast rule here so but only hard and fast rule was using this space element in between so for this we uh, needed to use a space element for our relative layout so that is why we have used the space here in between these two views but also because these two views are um, at 50 50% 
uh, weight so uh, that is why we could use the space element had it been a different scenario had it been like a 30 and 70 uh, width for different for these two views then uh, usage of space would have been difficult then we uh, then we would have used a linear layout method and provided weights to these two views but in our case we uh, currently we don't require to do that we have equal width so we could use space so this was all about uh, using all the elements that can be used in relative layout till now there are many others which we will learn going forward but for today we'll cover these topics only and uh, there is also a study material along with this video which you can see on our website and uh, you can go through that study material you can go through an example or you can recreate this exercise again to have a better understanding of how to use these elements in a, a relative layout and uh, that's uh, that's all for today and then let's see you in the next uh, session thank you